In this video, I'm gonna show you or review my Manfrotto advanced compact tripod and whether or not I still use it to this day and what is the best recommended budget affordable and reliable tripod that you should use for your YouTube videos, whether you're a video editor, aspiring videographer, or you just want to make content, I'm going to tell you exactly the tripod that I used and I recommend for you guys and which ones to stay away from. Stay tuned. So if you haven't watched my first video on it, watch that first. But this is my follow-up video on the best compact tripod that I currently use and if you haven't figured out by now yes it is still the Manfrotto advanced tripod and what I really like about this tripod I made a video quite a while back about the current tripod that I use and if you don't watch all the way to the end short story short is that yes I still use the one and only Manfrotto tripod, advanced, compact. And I'm gonna talk about the three different tiers of tripods that you recommend, that I recommend to you guys, and what you should consider. Number one is if you are a complete beginner and you don't plan on doing it like professionally and you just need a standard tripod for your home videos, your YouTube videos, whatever, then yes, go spend $30 only and get yourself an Amazon Basics tripod. There are a bunch of them out there on Amazon and link is in the description to check out the ones that I recommend. But these are essentially not as durable and they get the job done. That's exactly what it is and you're paying for what you get. So be aware of that. And the quality isn't probably gonna last if you plan on doing run and gun shoots or eventually upgrading your gear, right? That is the first bracket of tripods. Your next bracket of tripods that I recommend is your budget friendly tripods. And within this category is the Manfrotto compact series. There's different lineups, which one should you get? There's two types of the ones that I'm currently using and the one that I'm using is the Manfrotto Advanced Compact. Why do I like it? Because it is, hence the name compact, it is very small and it can ex extend up to almost six feet. And there's two functions. You can also swivel it for portraits, right? It's pretty cool, right? And you can have it for portraits for photos and you can also have it in this mode to film your TikToks or Instagram videos as well. Very light on and compact and it is so durable. That is one of the things that I really like about this tripod. And I've dropped this thing so many times and it still looks brand spanking new. And I recommend it because I am a run and gun one person video production company and it is still my go-to. I've had big rigs set up on this with like a small HD external monitor with a, a lab receiver mic and it still holds fine. And right now I'm currently using the Nikon with a Rode shotgun and it's fine, it's very sturdy. And another reason I like this tripod is that the tripod itself is using the clip method for how it extends its legs, right? Some tripods, if you go more on the professional route, you have more of those twisty type of tripods that you can go all the way down, but these ones are just clips and that's how I like it, really simple. That's my preference. And the cons of this tripod is that it doesn't have a built-in bubble leveler, meaning if your camera does not have a in-body leveler to tell whether or not your camera itself is leveled, you're gonna have to just eyeball and guess where level is if you're using something like a Nikon or a Canon without that, right? Just so be aware of that. And this is my budget recommendation. Link is in the description if you wanna check it out, as well as my first review on it, what I like about it. And what I don't like is just be aware that your tilt and pans are gonna be not as smooth because this isn't made necessarily for videos, right? If you wanna go into spend 300 and 400, which I'm talking about is the next tier in terms of tripod, this tripod itself retails around for 100, 150 dollars. 
But if you go to the next tier of tripod, that is where you want to focus on your video tripods. This will have things like your fluid heads, the things like your levelers, as, as well as having things like the legs of the tripod itself is not balanced or straightened, hence on level ground, but the center console itself, you can do one of these and it will level itself out no matter whether or not the legs are all even. And that you're looking at more of the expensive and then you're looking into another one or $200 for the fluid head attachments. And I recommend those types of tripods if you are filming with more heavier gear, if you're shooting with like a Scarlett or a Red or a Sony, what is those, the FS100s or is it the C100s, the Canons? Those are the ones where you wanna look into those. But you're probably watching my channel to find what is the best bang for your buck so I can run my one person, one woman, one man show, and it's this guy. And there is an advanced version of that, link to the description, the exact same thing with a leveler, but you are looking at paying a around $50 more. But like I said, I am not sponsored by Manfrotto. I just really like their products. And the thing about this tripod is that I've had this since the beginning of my video career and I've been editing now for almost five, five years now, casually into professionally. And it's still the tripod that I used to film my own YouTube videos as well as my client videos. And it's a tripod that is still, to this day, has not done me any harm, still works. And for example, what happens if you unloose the center console and it just collapses like that, there is a little bit of a of a stop, but a rubber, so there is some safety in it. But as long as you make sure everything's tight and secured down, you can't go wrong with this tripod. And link is in the description for the different types of tripods that I recommend. And if you're a budget, you definitely would pick this up. And I still use it to this day. It's what you're watching with this video right now. And it's really light and I like it, right? So links in the description, check all those tripods out. And my name is Peter. You're watching Broke Vision Collective where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. You have either the lens is pointing this way or the lens is pointing that way. If your lens is not pointing in the right direction where the arrow is and you put your tripod onto the mount, the latch, this is my biggest gripe. If it's backwards, the mount itself will not hold onto the camera and your camera will fall off and hopefully not shatter into a million pieces. But that has happened to me before. So just be careful about the arrows, that you, the way that you point it. And I wish they made it a little bit more clear with maybe like a red marking on the top. But yeah.